We'll save the, that other stuff for some other time. Oh my god, it's dark in here. Huh? Uh, that isn't going to work. <laughs> Is there any way to have a source of light underwater? Oh man, that's like creeping me out, dude. No way. Uh-uh, ain't going to do it. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go do the Swamp Cave. Uh, that's our main goal. But before we start with that, we can now make ourselves the industrial cooker. Been looking forward to getting this for a while. I uh, went out and got a bunch of resources, metal in mostly, because I'd had everything else. And so let's go ahead and make that guy up. And we're going to, the plan is to put it, uh, whoops put it here and we can pick these guys up very good let's pull what we need to make one of those and hopefully this will work if it doesn't then we'll just do it the the conventional way okay so let's grab this put that there it is getting water because the water droplet is blue and we want to uh, how do I rotate that? Because it, it needs to be turned around. It's not E. Is it G? It's not G either. R? I don't know. What if we kind of approach it from... Here, let's get... No. Let's pick that door up for a second. Uh, there. There. Okay, it is, it's irrigated and it's got power. Beautiful, okay. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go, um, we're gonna put in, let's put a thousand narcotic in. We'll put a thousand stimulant in, or no, I guess we won't. Let's put 500 stimulant in, okay. I think we're ready to turn this on. Let's do it. And we'll just have it make a enormous batch of all of this shit. <laughs> and uh, then we'll have it, have a nice little supply of it. Okay, and, and it cooks it so fast too. That's the other thing. It, it, it is plumbed, so we don't need to do the jars and it cooks it really fast. Just love this thing, man. All right, cool. So, we're going to have to go into this cave on foot, I think. Um, I do, you know what? I do want to still have a faucet just to get a drink of water. Okay. It's kind of on the floor in front of everything, but it works. I, I'll, I'll see if I can come up with a better solution for that later, but I'm not, I don't want to keep messing with that for now. Now, um, like I said, I don't think we can fly into that cave um, that we're going to go to because it's a really small entrance. And my guess is that it's going to be one of those, uh, it's going to be like a poison cave. And uh, so we could, I don't know if I have what I would need to make a gas mask, but I think you can also use scuba gear. Yeah, see, we would need this absorbent substrate stuff, and I don't... I don't remember how to make that. We make it from... Yeah, so we need black pearls. I have no black pearls. In fact, I don't even have a sap either. So um, what we can do instead, though, I think, was, is we can use scuba gear, and it has the same effect as a gas mask. So that's what we'll do. And we've got this reusable one. And I think we'll take the baryonyx there because we can, we can swim across the water with the baryonyx, and that way we don't have to leave a flying dino outside the cave and run the risk of it getting killed. So what I don't want to do though, is I don't want to, I don't want to take anything in there that is going to, going to be irreplaceable. Uh, in other words, a high end item that we have that we don't, that we didn't make from a blueprint. Okay. So that means 
um, our axe here and our pick. We don't want to take either one of those because we can't, we don't have um, blueprints to replace them. We'll just take a normal hatchet and a normal pick with us in case we need them for any particular reason. And that way, if we die, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, this rifle we can't replace because it's, um, it's not based on a, on a blueprint. So we're going to put that away. We can replace the shotgun. We do have the blueprint for it. It's expensive as hell, but it is replaceable. Um, since we're going to be on foot, the pike is not replaceable. What is that? That's a 190 damage pike. Do we even have a pike blueprint in here? We don't. Oops. No. Well, I spell it correctly. Oh yeah, we do. Yeah. That is based off the blueprint. Okay. So we can take that with us. That's not going to be a problem. Um, I think Gilly armor, well, except for... I think ghillie armor would be good to take as well. I don't think those are based off of blueprints, but let's take a look. Okay, we have ghillie blueprint for 70 armor, 75 hand, 128 feet. And oh, wow, we've got some really good ghillie armor. Hands. The only thing we don't have a blueprint for is the pants. Um, so we have some ramshackle ghillie pants. So let's grab, let's take those. We're not going to take the scuba gear. I, in case there's deep water in there, I will take the flippers with us just, you know, just in case. Uh, but then everything else, let's just grab whatever we have in here because we have decent replacements for them. Even if we can't maybe replace that one specifically. Okay, so we'll put this there, put that there. Uh, no, these go here. And feet go here. Alright, let's take a look and see what's going on in here. Okay, so this is done cooking. We're going to grab all of the stews that it made and all of the tonics. I think that's everything and we'll put those in the fridge except for we'll take some of these with us all right i forgot to make a ghillie hat so let's grab this mastercraft yeah so let's pull everything we need this helmet actually has more armor than the the flak too which is great so we'll put that there there we go Okay, we want to be careful of um, Nidereas as we cross here. They are in the area. But they're easy to outrun as long as we don't get too close to them. This is where the giant sea turtle thingies spawn. Lots of metal down here. Oh, hey, is that a donkey? Those are good at getting oil. It is. It's an X donkey. Only level 20, though. Huh. I don't know how an X level 20 donkey would compare to, say, like a high level normal dunk. The thing that makes that um, attractive, though, is it's in a really shallow easy place to get those guys are usually pretty deep but that's not what we're about right now oh shit we got about there hey is he chasing me i didn't know those guys were hostile no i don't think he was i think he was just doing his thing Oh shit, we gotta watch out for those jellyfish. Can I get up over here? Oh yeah, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't too thrilled about trying to swim past those jellies. They were pretty close. 
Okay, here is the cave. Let us go in. What just hurt me? Is it poison in here? It must be. Okay. Well, that answers that question. So we're going to need to wear this. And theoretically, that should protect us from the poison. So much for that theory. Shit, okay. Well, I guess we're not going to be doing this um, cave, guys, until I can get an actual gas mask. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. Shoot, I was looking forward to it. Okay, well, then... I guess that means... I wonder if I wonder if we actually need a hazmat suit. See, but we need gems and congealed gas balls and all that weird shit. Um that's all that's all like ex I think extinction stuff. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to I'll have to research it or you guys can tell me in the comments if you know what I need to go in there. Maybe it is just a gas mask, but it seems to me like the scuba gear used to work on the island for the swamp cave, or maybe it just doesn't for this one. Okay, well, we're going to go to plan B. Um, so I'm going to swim back to uh, the base. And we're going to get back on our bat, and we're going to go try another, uh, another cave. There's a cave across the way that we saw right at the end of the last episode. And I think we'll go investigate that cave next. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. This is the next cave we're going to investigate. Um, it is... Here's where we are on the map here. So just kind of below my index finger in uh, 20... Well, you know what? Actually, we got a freaking uh, one of these. So I guess we are at... 28.939.8. So 28.39 ish. Cool. Okay. Let's head on in and see what this cave's about. This is my first time um, in here. It's got lighted crystals. Oh, it was a bear. Level is a bear. Dire bear level 50. Okay, let's go this way. We'll grab the rune. And there's some water we can also investigate. Relax, bear. Okay, before we before we do that though, let's um let's go see what's over on this side. How oh, interesting like its own underground ecosystem on a pvp server you could block this off and have a, a base inside my uh one of my all-time favorite original well not original but early game maps was valhalla and it had a absolutely enormous cave that you could go in with just a single entrance that you could block off and then have the whole cave to yourself. And I had quite a few resources and stuff inside of it. Alright, well, this is kind of, this is cool, don't get me wrong, but it's not, uh, there's nothing real cool in here so far, but we'll, we'll go see what's in the water too. 
Can I have you do this and then can I get off? Yep. Okay. Now make sure you're passive. And she should be fine up there. Okay. So, um, we want to put this on. And these on. And let's take some Lazarus chowder. And this for movement speed and this for melee damage. We'll save the, that other stuff for some other time. Oh my god, it's dark in here. How, uh... That isn't going to work. <laughs> Is there any way to have a source of light underwater? Oh, man. That's like creeping me out, dude. No way. Uh-uh. Ain't going to do it. I'll tell you what we will do, though. Let's get on the bat and use its night vision to see if... There is actually any... Where are you at, Bat? Are you invisible? Oh, you were over there. Uh, see if there is actually anything down there. Okay. Oh, that water's not even that deep. Okay, well, that's kind of disappointing. Nothing there. Where are we at? Okay, that that goes back. That is so weird, um, you know, being able to see under the, the sea like that. Because it completely throws me off. Um... I want to say that, uh, well, there definitely are more caves further to the east. I'm just not exactly sure where they're at. One thing I guess we could do is run back into the artifact of the hunter. Let's check this Rex out. It's uh, it's just a level 25. Okay. And just uh, grab those loot crates that are in there. It wouldn't take long to do. Okay, we have a Gallimimus saddle and a Packy saddle. Well, that wasn't really worth the effort. Let's go see what the other one has. Let's grab this really quick before those guys come. We'll just fly back out the way we came. Okay, so what did we get? We got a, a par Pariser platform and this Ascendant Simple Pistol Blueprint. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. None of the stuff is super good, but I'm going to actually drop this stuff because it's too heavy. Okay, let's fly over to the kind of the northeastern coast. As I recall, last time we were over here, there were some really huge structures um, that, uh, and I think there was a cave that we could uh, investigate too. So I'll see you guys over there. Yeah, here we go. Ginormous cave here. The lighting's kind of shitty right at the moment, but that'll change once we get inside here. That's a very dwarven feel to it. 
And we have some enemies in here too that we're going to have to deal with. Alright, let's get full stamina. Okay, I'm going to I'm not going to kill every single thing we come across. We'll kill what attacks us. I'm more interested in just kind of exploring at the moment. That bridge is cool looking, man. Um, let's put night vision back on too. It's just, it's too damn dark and I can't use the, I can't use the torch and attack at the same time. Oh, wow, can you go inside of here? Okay, are we safe for the second? I think so. Just want to see if there's anything in here. No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Are there buildings on this side? Doesn't look like it. Okay. It's hot. Um, let's take a Kalian. And we're fine. How light is it here if we turn this off? Eh, reasonably light. Are there wyverns in here? Ooh, you know what? If there are wyverns in here, will it let us go invisible? No, not even in a cave. Okay. I'm not seeing any wyverns or wyvern egg nests, so... I'm going to say probably not. What is this stuff here? Is this anything in particular or just part of the... Looks like some kind of crystal. There's metal down here. I don't know. Alright, let's go back up. So there's a right passage and a straightforward passage. Let's do the straightforward passage. Wow, look at this place. So we get out of the fire zone into the the water zone. fucker gave me a disease I was just thinking too that I had that hadn't happened because we couldn't get it on the bat but that is not the case we can definitely get it on the back so this is like a little city in here this is neat man if there's anything significant in the water. My poor guy. It's like coughing his lungs out. Okay. Well, let's um let's look into the water. It goes down there quite a ways. 
And there's a lot of critters in the water. I'm not spotting like a loot chest though. Oh, we're uh, we need to take some healing tonic. Okay, we're fine. Let's get Desmodus's next level. Uh, we're doing movement speed. I'm I'm so impressed with how effective this tame is that uh, it's making me want to go find a max level and get max efficiency on it. I mean, it's already so OP. It's crazy. And this was a 135 and only 50 percent efficiency. If you didn't see that um, that episode. Yeah, I, I'm not spotting anything in the water. But... Doesn't mean there's nothing down there. Maybe it's hidden. The thing is, is how do we... How do we get down to the water? Is there like a, a ramp leading down to it or something? Let's turn this back off. I mean, I could probably pull myself back out with a grappling hook, if nothing else. But are we going to also run into that same scenario where we can't see in the water that's too dark? I'm not noticing any dangerous fish. I mean, there's the spiders, but they just fell off the thing. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. Let's go over here. That hurt. And I'm pretty sure you're on passive, but I'm just going to double check and make sure that is indeed the case. Okay, let's put our... Um, we're not going to be able to use our shotgun underwater, so we'll put... the normal crossbow so we can shoot anything that we need to. And then we'll go head on down. Watch there be like a big frickin' Mosasaur or something down here. Let's use this while we can. There. I don't want him causing trouble for us. Alright, if I jump in this water and it's like pitch black, this is a no-go. Alright, it's not pitch black. Let's put this on. And these on. It is extremely dark down here, though, actually. And you know, the thing about it is, if there was a loot crate down here, it would be glowing. So, yeah. yeah it's too dark. But we would see the loot crate, like I said, we'd see it glowing if it was down here. So, all right, well, that's a bummer. Okay, let's see what's in here. Another lava cavern. Oh, this is a... Okay, so this is a boss fight area. Well, is it? 
Actually, no, it's not. There's like a big anvil down there, like the the magic anvil or something. Let's get rid of these enemies. Yeah, I don't want any of this stuff. So the the magic anvil Very cool. So it looks like there might be a cave straight ahead. Right down there. That's a cool thing is you can, you can see them from a distance like that. And then I think there's a cave here as well. There's a rune. Let's just pop in here and see what's going on in this place. Uh, really? That's it? No, that's not it. Okay, it's going to say. Very narrow in here. Okay, we got more creature features. Let's turn the night vision off and see. Okay, we can see reasonably well in here. So we have crystals. We have some water with some pearls it looks like in it. Oh wow, look at all the pearls. Yeah, well, let's grab those. For here, anything in particular? No, don't latch. That's kind of cool looking. I'm wondering if this area in particular is, oh shit, I need to be paying attention. Blocking a deeper passage. Hmm. No, that doesn't appear to be the case. Nope, it doesn't look like there's any creatures in here. Just dark as hell. Okay, I'm gonna pick these pearls. Oh shit. That was my chibi chibi. Scared me. When you're in dark water where you can barely see and then you see a pair of glowing eyes and sharp teeth, that's usually a little unnerving. Right, buddy? Right? He says right. Look at that, another 150 female. Um, might be worth knocking her out and taking her because she might have better stats than the one we currently have and if she doesn't then we can just use her as a utility rex but I am not prepared to do that so that's something we'll have to come back ooh there's a cave what do we got here I did not know this cave was here.
Oh, loot crate. Nice. Two of them. I wonder if this is a this might be an artifact cave then since it's got loot crates. I don't know if that means anything or not. There's a bunch of loot crates in here. Okay, let's get the rune. I've got a level up and the Desmodus has a level up. So let's give the Desmodus speed. And let's give ourselves weight. Beautiful. Okay, we have an Ascendant Ankylo Saddle Blueprint. That's nice. And a Diplodocus. All right, well, the Anky Saddle Blueprint was the prize there. Okay. Decent hatchet. Not as good as what we have, though. Okay, Blueprint for a fur thingy and a woolly rhino master. So yeah, out of all of that stuff, the best thing was the Ascendi, uh, Ascendant, rather, uh, Anki Saddle. So is that all there is in here? There's no artifacts or anything else? That would be a cool place to build a, a base, right on the, out on the edge of that promontory there. This would be cool, man. <laughs> Build a base right out on the edge of this. Have like a big lookout tower or something. You got the big old fortress walls off there in the distance. Look at the view from here, too. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to keep this place in mind, too, as a possible future build site. Yeah, you could even... Um, you could even, like, you know, build a stair system and or an elevator system or whatever and utilize this little shelf down below it, too. Just have a regular cliffside base. Oh, man, that would be fun. Okay, let's just run in here real quick and grab the two loot crates. Uh, don't play off the saddle. Yeah. Mastercraft trike saddle, an ascendant woolly rhino saddle blueprint. All right, guys. Well, um, we're gonna wrap things up here. In the next episode, we might go hit the trying to hit the volcano cave, and if I find um, where the next uh, artifact caves are, uh, we will do those as well. And they go from there. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.